Hello students! Welcome to our day 3 of the 2020 online and self-guided PFA modules supplemental to the SEES manual. Module 3, Identifying and Addressing Needs Ito ang module na magtuturo sa inyo ng mga bagay kung sino at saan at paano nyo kukontakin ang mga taong handang tumulong sa inyo sa gitna ng pandemya. Objectives to identify one's current needs and those of one's family. Become aware of the various institutions, departments, and centers present within the school environment or the immediate community. And take note of the important numbers and information regarding who approach for their needs. Materials for today, pen and paper. So far, we've talked about your reactions to the pandemic or any form of disaster and how you get rid of them. Kahapon yun, di ba? Today, we will talk about the list of needs and how to access them during the pandemic. Ano ba yung mga contact numbers at sino ba yung mga taong dapat nating tawagan at lapitan sa oras ng pangangailangan. Activity 1 here are the important contact numbers in case of emergency. So be ready with your pen and paper. Emergency hotlines. The first one is the FEBOX or the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology. It's all about the mandated to mitigate disasters that may arise from volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, tsunami, and other related geotectonic phenomena. The second one is the Philippine National Red Cross. It supports to active duty military members, National Guard and Reserve members, veterans and their families. It also provides emergency communication services. Ito rin ang ahensya ang nagbibigay ng COVID testing. The third one is the Bureau of Fire Protection. Kung kayo ay may nasunugan na malapit sa inyong bahay o kayo mismo. Responsible to the public safety in our nation. They protect and prevent the lives of people from any catastrophe like destructive fires or sunog. The NDRRMC or the National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council. It is the one that provide programs about the disaster operations and rehabilitation efforts undertaken by the government and the private sector. And we also have the National Emergency Hotline or 911. Ito yung madaling tawagan sa oras ng emergency. We have the Department of Health or the DOH. This is the health agency in the Philippines. It is responsible for ensuring access to basic public health services to all. Sila rin ang naglalabas ng datos ng bilang ng mga may COVID positive at ang mga nag-recover. We also have the Philippine National Police. The PNP shall enforce the law and they prevent and control crimes, maintains peace and order, and ensure public safety and eternal security with the active support of the community. Kung nais niyong humingi ng tulong, kung merong bang nangyayaring gulo malapit sa inyong lugar, maaari niyo silang tawagan. Next, we have the PAGASA or the Philippine Atmospheric Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration. They are the one who provides the news about floods, typhoon warnings, and public weather forecasts and advisory. They give us the protection of life and property sa paparating ng mga malalakas na ulan at pagyo. And the last one, the Department of Social Welfare and Development, or the DSWD. The primary government agency mandated to develop, implement, and coordinate social protection and poverty reduction solutions for and with the poor, vulnerable, and disadvantaged. Activity 2 
Here are the list of common needs during a pandemic and how to access them. Narinig nyo na ang mga contact numbers at sana ay sinulat nyo iyon sa inyong pen and paper. Ngayon naman, paano sila tumutulong sa atin? List of common needs during a pandemic and how to access them. Relief goods. To receive relief goods in Ayuda or from the barangay level, city mayor and DSWD. Kung mapapanood nyo sa TV, ang daming pumila para makakuha ng ayuda. At yung iba naman, ibinibigay ito ng bahay-bahay. Ito ay malaking tulong sa bawat pamilyang nakakatanggap. Selling of product and goods. Is your family involved in selling some products or goods? They too need to get permit to travel and to sell their basic goods and commodities. Go to your barangay center to issue the permit. Transportation within your area. If you need to travel within your area or vicinity, go to your barangay center and ask for permission to go to a grocery store, marketplace, supermarket, or pharmacy store. A quarantine pass is issued by your barangay. Wearing face mask and face shield is always needed. Isa lang ang quarantine pass na pinapayagan bawat pamilya. Transportation outside your city or municipality. Go to your barangay center to get a travel pass that will allow you to pass major tour affairs. Make sure you are COVID-free. Make sure also that you wear your face mask. They also provide you with vehicles. Cash Assistance or Social Amelioration Program or the SAP. The DSWD releases cash amounts in three tranches to poor but deserving families. Contact your DSWD kung kayo ay kasali na makatanggap ng SAP. Cash assistance to OFW. Overseas foreign workers may avail government cash aid by the dole and workers who have been displaced due to pandemic. Yung mga pamilya nating OFW na umuwi at nawalan ng trabaho, maaari silang makakuha ng cash aid mula sa dole. Here are the list of the common needs of survivors after a disaster or pandemic. List of common needs of survivors after a disaster or pandemic. General, to find missing family members, to provide medical assistance to those who were hurt, to gain access to lease of casualties, to know how many were affected, to provide proper burial facilities for those who have passed on. Food and water, to provide water line to homes, to gain access to source of water for multiple purposes, food, and for the number of days. Family goods, blankets, clothes, bedding, tarp, flashlights, storage boxes, underwater, dignity kits, disinfectants, and alcohol. Fuel, for vehicle, gas for cooking, for kerosene lamps. Shelter, temporary shelter, building materials to be used for repairs. Ito yung mga basic needs o mga pangangailangan na kailangan natin pagkatapos tayong makalampas sa isang napakalaking disaster or pandemic. We're almost done! Malapit na tayong matapos. Now, all I want you to do is to complete the needed information in the next slide. This is the format. For the first column, you have your family, relative, friend. Second column is the current immediate need, and the third one is referred to. Sino yung mga family members or kaibigan yung nangangailangan ng tulong? Ano yung mga kailangan nilang tulong at kanino nyo sila i-refer or patatawagin para humingi ng tulong? Ayon ang gagawin sa activity na ito. Now, how will you use those contact details in times of pandemic? Lahat ng nailista, lahat ng mga naisulat, o lahat ng mga nakitang numero, ano nga ba ang gamit ng mga iyon? I hope you learned a lot today about how you address your needs in times of pandemic. Sana alam nyo kung saan kayo pupunta or sino ang mga taong tatawagan ninyo pag kayo ay nangangailangan ng tulong. See you again tomorrow for the continuation of the PFA modules. Keep safe! Tandaan, sa panahon ngayon, mga bata, ang kalusugan ang importante sa lahat.